M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's set up APRS on our Alance HD1. We are going to need some help from our Pistar hotspot and Brandmeister, and we're also going to need a GPS lock. Let me show you how to get the GPS lock on your Alance HD1. So you will need to have a GPS lock. Now we've got one here. How do we turn it on? To turn on, press menu, then go down to band A set and click band. Now go down one to GPS, press menu, and then select with the up and down arrows on or off. So we want it on, select on, then confirm. Then go back. Once you've got the planet Earth showing right at the top there, it's very small, it's a li tiny little blue planet Earth, then you do have a lock. When you haven't got a lock, there will be a red circle with a line through it. So now let's look at our location. We'll go menu once, then just go down to GPS and select confirm. And then local GPS means it's going to show you your location. Click confirm and there's my location. If we then go back and look down, go what down one to receive GPS, that's if someone has an, um, a GPS transmitter, and I'll test it on my 878, and they can send you their GPS coordinates. We just go back out, and we are now ready to set up APRS on, in, within our code plug. Let's go and have a look. Now let's set up our Brandmeister. So what we'll do is we'll log in as normal, Click M0FXB, go to self care. We go do a full screen here. Now just basically copy my settings. It's Chinese radio, English. Normally you would use M0FXB-9. You type what, what you're gonna see here. I could add the word Andreas if I want. Like so. Uh, so that's JPRS text. Icon, I've chose a man. Everything else is selected to off, and then just save. Okay, so that's your settings in Brandmeister. It's free to set to get an account with Brand, Brandmeister. On our hotspot, just go to configuration, and just remember and set the frequency that you're going to put in the radio, the same as your hotspot. And we're just using a simplex hotspot here. And if we go down, I have enabled APRS host enabled. I just slid that across and the rest I've left as default, although mine does say Europe, London time and dashboard language. Now let's move over to the code plug, but go back to dashboard. As you can see on my dashboard, I have TX. Now I'm using the, the talk group number 460999 because that's in a video made by Alance and you'll see it says uh, GPS and when I, when I do transmit and no one else is talking here um, it does say DMR data here of course use your call sign for the APRS call sign so let's open up our code plug we'll go to channel here on the left says channel and these are my channels now I tend to write my own code plugs with just the channels that I know I'm going to use rather than having hundreds and hundreds of channels so the bottom one here is APRS. So the frequency here is the same as my hotspot. So we're simplex, so it's 431.550 RX TX. We've selected digital, we don't need tone. The power's low, but I'm guessing that if you were out and about, you'd want to use high power. Scan, I've selected add, I've named the channel APRS, and let's click a bigger window. And hopefully, if you copy my settings, this yours should work as well. Mine's working now. So, channel name, frequency, digital, low power, timeout. I've set to 180. There it's set. There it is. Scan ad there. Simplex. Simplex. I've selected slot one. Color code one. Now the actual chat contact you create is important. Look. So you'll select on here priority and then a contact called APRS. I've selected here GPS timing report TX contact also APRS. If you look there and then we've ticked these boxes GPS, receive GPS info, send GPS info and we've got GPS timing as 60. 
Then go over to contacts. And you might need to actually do this first to be able to select it in the channel. Go to priority contacts. And then here's where I've added the contact. Now I've cr it's a private call I've created. I've called it APRS and I've used the number that Alent's used, 460999. There you go, so you need to do that. I also created a new zone, so double click zone here at the top. The zone window appears. And I, you could just put it in an existing zone, but I, I just clicked here, nine, type the word APRS. The APRS channel that I had already created appeared in the available channels list, so I just sent it across here. So if I send it back, there it is there. It appeared like that. I selected it and I just sent it across and of course you can add more than one APRS channel. This is for testing. And this is so that when you turn the radio on and you select the zone, that there's just one APRS channel in there and that makes it easier just for APRS testing. Now some people do create receive groups, if you click here, but it's not something I ever do, where you can add other channels into that same receive group and then when you're using APRS you will hear other channels but I've never done that. Now send that to your radio. I would save that configuration then say, send it to your radio. Just go device and check your port. Mine is 10. How do you check? You just go right click device manager of course connect your USB cable double click and then you've got COM10 there at CH340 and then click device and then write to radio. Hopefully no errors. So back on the radio, you want to select the correct zone that you created. Just go menu, down to band A, menu again, select zone. Then we'll go up to the one that we called APRS. Confirm, back out. You're now on APR on the APRS zone, and you'll see that your little logo for GPS is initially will have a little red circle. But wait for that lock, and once you've got that lock, then it's just a matter of TXing. You'll see it's private, and there's the number there. Fingers crossed, you'll be on APRS FI in no time. So okay, give it a test, try it out. Hopefully, you'll show up on APRS FI like I am here. If you look on the left, I'm showing up. And uh, yeah, catch you on air. Thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to like or subscribe. I think the Alens HD1 is a, is a good radio, a fun radio. It's a budget radio, um, but it works well on so many things. Bye for now, 7-3.